Hi, today's ESP32 video is more a blab video, just talking about what's on my bench and what's coming next. This is the APDS9960 Proximity Ambient Light and RGB Gesture Sensor. Next, we've seen this before, the BH1750, an ambient light sensor with the I2C bus interface. And we can also do something about the ultrasonic sensor, the HCSR04. And this is the MAX30100, the pulse and heart rate sensor IC. Next, we see the BME280, a humidity, temperature and pressure sensor. And this is the SI7021, also a humidity and temperature sensor with a I2C interface. And this is the Semtec SX1278, a LoRa transceiver. And this is a whole range of videos we can do about this, but I just start by soldering the whole module to a ESP8266 adapter. And this is the module for the ADS1115, a four channel ADC with a gain amplifier. And this is an outdated module, the ACS712, a Hall effect base current sensor. And these are HCSR501 PIR sensors. And this is some audio stuff, the MAX98357, a mono I2S class D audio power amplifier. And this is the bigger brother from the amplifier. This is the PCM5102, also an audio stereo digital to analog converter with an I2S interface. And this is a camera module, the OV2640. This is a 2 megapixel camera chip. And also some other camera modules, but I don't know which type they are. And now we have a bunch of stepper motor drivers, the TMC2100, the DRV8825 and maybe I can do a comparison about the silence of the TMC2100 and we have also an, an L9110, also a stepper motor driver with an H-bridge configuration. And the old screen type, the Darlington Transistor Array Line Driver, the ULN2003. And here we have a small servo motor. And this is not now successfully my steps to debug the ESP32 and I try to use this AVR JTAG ICE clone type of debugger with an USB interface for my computer. And I also need to solder this ESP32 warm modules. And I definitely want to do something with this 2.7 volt 500 farad supercapacitor bank with six supercapacitors and also some charging protection. We have so al already soldered some LEDs to this board so we can see when one of the supercapacitors is fully charged. And I want to do something with high voltage transformers. And this is useful if we do use this guy. This is the 18550 Geiger counter tube. And here we see also more of this high voltage transformers with some kind of multi-stage voltage doubler circuit. 
and I want to do something with this K-type thermal couple and also the MAX6675 converter chip and this negative temperature coefficient thermistors or NTC thermistor 3950 and I bought this with this heaters for maybe 3D printing heads and we have also this one wire temperature sensors. And last for today, we have a bunch of Ethernet modules, this W5500 and also the type of ENC28J60. So that's it for today. And if you like this kind of video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have some ideas for next videos, please write it in the comments. Or if you want something with a higher priority, I can maybe try to change my schedule for the next coming videos. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something and enjoy the video. Have a nice day. Have fun with playing with electronics. See you next time and bye bye.